Lila is sitting by the riverbank with her grandfather, taking in the quiet evening. Lila hears her grandfather tell her a tale about a fish that lives in the river and has the power to fulfill wishes to people who have good intentions. Lila chooses to head to the river when she wakes up early in the hopes of seeing the miraculous fish. She hears a quiet voice beckoning to her as she strolls beside the river. She follows the voice and spots a bright fish swimming close to the water's surface. Come here, come here. Can you see me? Hey Lila, look at me, I am here. When Lila speaks to the magic fish, it grants her one desire. Lila hopes her grandfather's condition gets better because he has been feeling unwell lately. She makes a wish, and the magic fish comes true. When Lila gets home, her grandfather is in the best possible mood. The peasants come to Lila and beg her for assistance after learning about the miracle fish. Lila makes the decision to go back to the river and make additional wishes for her friends and neighbors from the fish. Lila asks for food and supplies for the impoverished locals. Her desire is granted by the magic fish, and soon the hamlet is thriving with plenty. Lila makes one final trip back to the river. She learns from the magic fish that kindness and hard work are the paths to true happiness and riches. The fish informs us that its power is finite and ought to be employed prudently. Motivated by Lila's generosity and the magic fish's insight, the villagers begin cooperating to make their lives better. Lila gains an appreciation for kindness and the significance of teamwork. The story's moral. Hard effort, kindness, and community service are the keys to true happiness and prosperity. While wishes can offer short-term comfort, it is our deeds and endeavors that bring about long-lasting transformation. Thank you for watching, we will come with our new moral stories soon. We will update in our short reels.